Well, hello everybody and happy Thursday. This is Lisa Freeman with stampingwithlisa.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. And today we've been we've been doing fall cards for the last week or so. So I decided to do a Christmas card today. And hopefully you guys will show up and watch with me. And um this is a really, really easy card, so it's more like a five-minute card. You can put out a ton of these in no time at all, do all your Christmas cards if you want to. And a few, not a few weeks ago, but maybe like two weeks ago, I did a Christmas card stamp a stack, and this was one of the, one, was one of my favorites because I love the snowman from the Snow Wonder stamp set. So we will be using that stamp set today, which is one from last year, and this is what it looks like. And I just love this stamp set. I was so glad they carried it over this year. So we're using the little snowman and the happy Christmas from that one. And let me get my computer going. Hopefully it's live this time because last time um, it was not working. <laughs> so I couldn't see anything. But yay, I can see today. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Anna. I'm so excited. It's working. Yay. All right. So we're good today. I still don't know what happened to that other video because it's not on my... Um, web web page on Facebook it's totally gone I don't know what happened to it I had to actually download it to fate to um, YouTube from my phone because um, I couldn't find it so I don't know what happened that day but it was not there so this is the one we're making today I don't know if you can see the sparkle on his scarf from the wink of Stella so we're gonna be doing wink of Stella and I just love that you know I love sparkles and we've got some sparkle in the ribbon too I don't know if you guys have seen this ribbon it's the one that's in the um, Holiday Mini. It's got sparkle stuff all over it. It's really pretty. It's called, um, let's see, Glittered Organdy Ribbon. It's really, really pretty. It looks kind of pink. When you look at it one way, it looks like blue sparkles, and then you look at it the other way, it's like pink sparkles, but it's really pretty. So let me um, get a couple things out of the way first. I've got a couple winners from uh, the last few videos. So winner of this card is Michelle Townsley. You win, this is the one from the packing tape technique. Remember we put the packing tape on the leaves and then um, die cut them. So Michelle, you won that one. You need to just send me your address and I'll put it in the mail to you. And then this card was one of my favorites. I loved this cork paper and I um, sponged that with the blending brush. And that winner is Amy Way. So Amy, you won this card. So send me your address. This is the paper that I used for my stamp -a stack and it's called Tidings of Christmas, and we've got lots of different ones. This has 48 sheets, they're six by six, and you get eight sheets of each pattern. These are the patterns in there, and I love all of them. This is really, really pretty Christmas paper, and it's really um, versatile. You can use it with a lot of different colors. So this is the front of all of them, and then you flip it over, and you've got like darker colors on the back. So it uses a lot of different colors. Um, I like the softer colors, like the soft succulent. And then this is, I think, what is that? I'm not sure if it's cherry cobbler or real red, but it's got all the colors on the back. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but all, the, all of our paper has the colors on the back that are in there. So this one's cherry cobbler, evening evergreen, misty moonlight, Sahara sand, soft succulent, and whisper white. So all of those colors are in this pack of paper and you get a ton. Like I did my stamp a stack and we made 10 cards and I still have all this left. So, and actually I've made a few more since then. So you can make a ton of cards with that. So love the paper. So let me show you the um, supplies you need. Oh good, we got lots of people on here. Beverly, hey Beverly. Hey Anna, hey Susan. Oh, you finally caught me live, yay. And so did Beverly. Yeah, I see new people on here because I don't recognize some of your names. So you guys are new. I'm so glad you caught me live. All right, so what you need is a piece of five and a half by eight and a half soft succulent and a piece of five and a quarter by four of the designer paper that I just showed you, the Tidings of Christmas, a piece of um, evening evergreen, three by four and a quarter, and a piece of white, two and three quarters by four, and then the ribbon, which I don't know how much this is. It's, let me see, that's four and four is eight I would say nine about ten inches so about ten inches of the ribbon all right so get a screenshot of that if you want to so you can make it yourself it is so easy you're just gonna be amazed we how fast we do this and I do have a story for you today so I'm excited to share that I was listening to the radio um, 
on the way. Let me get my scrap paper out. I had to go run some errands today, and I was listening to K-Love on the radio, which is one of my favorite channels. It's a contemporary Christian music channel. So we're using this um, snowman right here, and we're using Memento Black. And they always have lots of um, feel-good stories on there, along with the music. So I was listening, and... Um, I was going to the grocery store and they were talking about this story and I just sat in the parking lot listening to it for a few minutes. But it was about sharing kindness. You know, and I've been talking about that a lot lately. And you're just going to stamp this on here and give it a good press. And, you know, I've been talking about how nowadays there's just not enough kindness in the world because I don't know what's wrong with people, but they're just, I don't know, not being very nice and especially where I work. <laughs> I work at an urgent care center and we've had some really rude people lately. Um, I probably should have done the words first because the words are always the hardest thing to do. All right, let's do those and hopefully we'll get it straight. So just put that right down at the bottom. Pretty good, pretty good. That's good enough for me. All right, so that's all you need the black for. And then let's put that away. We're going to do some snowflakes around the edge and I'm going to use... Um, Let's see, smoky slate for that. Actually, I think I'm gonna sponge first in case they smear a little bit. So we'll sponge first with the blue. This is balmy blue. Hey, Diane. Hey, Melinda. Off to watch your grandson's football game. It's pouring down rain here. That's part of my story today. All right, so just tap off the blue a little bit and just sponge it around the snowman. You don't want a ton, just a little bit, just to give it some blue. And make sure you don't go past that snow line because you want the bottom to stay white. So that's good enough. So that we're done with the blue. Now we're just going to color and do the snowflakes. So let me do, let me color first and do snowflakes last. All right, so I've got a few markers here, a couple markers and a couple Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to start with just the regular markers. I've got the orange pumpkin pie one. For the nose and the real red um, for the holly berries so we're gonna do that and they're so tiny I'm gonna use just the the pointy tip of them so back to my story so I'm in the car listening to the um, K love radio person and she was talking about things you could do to make a difference and one was you know for like cashiers at the grocery store in places that are just overworked and underpaid, probably like almost everybody right now who's still working. Uh-oh, that's too fat, but I went out of the lines just a little bit. Um, you know, and they're having a bad day. If you see they're having a bad day, what you can do is get, when you're in the grocery line and you're looking at like the candy and stuff, say, hmm, I just can't make up my mind about which candy I wanna get and ask the cashier, what, what's your favorite candy? And see what she says. And then whatever she says, buy, that one and then give it to her and just say have a great day and you know go about your way and that would make such a difference in her day because she wouldn't be expecting it and this is pool party light pool party and I'm just doing inside this snowman just to give him a little bit of I don't know color so he's not completely white so it'll contrast to the snow a little bit. And then you will have made that person's day by just spending like a dollar. Although I was looking at the candy today when I was in the aisle and I was at Food Lion. And I'm telling you what, a pack of gum is like $2.79 now. And the Reese's peanut butter cup thing was like a dollar or something. I said, holy cow, the price of stuff has gone up like crazy. This one is dark soft succulent. And I'm gonna color just about everything else with this color. And then, so I did my grocery stuff, and when I went in, I was sitting in the car and it was just kind of starting to sprinkle a little bit. And I was debating whether to take my umbrella in, and I'm like, no, I said, it doesn't look like it's gonna pour down rain anytime soon. And I said, and I parked pretty close, you know, like maybe four cars in out in the parking lot. And of course I go in, and I was in there maybe like 10 minutes. And just got a few things and of course as I'm checking out all of a sudden the sky just falls in and I was like oh crud 
<laughs> because I didn't have a ton of stuff, but I did have a cart with like, you know, four or five bags in it. And I was just, I, I started walking out. I'm like, ugh, it was just torrential rain. And so I stood there for a couple minutes and then this man came out, really nice looking man. And he had this hot pink umbrella and he puts his umbrella up and he looks over at me. He's like, do you want to share? <laughs> And I looked at him and I was thinking, uh, heck yeah. <laughs> he was uh, so cute. And I was like, man. And so he walked me to my car with my um, groceries and stuff and held the umbrella over my head. He was so sweet. I still got soaking wet because it was kind of going sideways. But um, it was just so sweet. And I should have asked him if he was single or not. Maybe could have had a date. <laughs> But I thought that was just so funny that I was sitting in the radio in the car listening to the radio about doing, you know, kind things for other people. And then that guy comes out and does that for me. And I was just like, so, you know, amazed. He was so sweet and really cute, too. I don't know. I wish he was single and had asked me out, though. <laughs> All right. So I'm just putting Wink Estella on this. Let me look at the comments because I haven't been looking. Hold on. Hey, Jennifer, how you doing? You glad, glad you caught my live today, watching you after a really busy first day of school. Oh, today was the first day of school. What school are you at? Because I thought school started on Tuesday. Murphy's Law, I know it. Get his number. <laughs> I, I kind of looked for him as I was leaving the parking lot just to see. <laughs> Angie, you love K-Love too. I know it's such a good um, radio station. But, um, oh, I've heard about that show, The Chosen. I've been wanting to watch that too. Um... I've heard about it. All right, so I'll hold this up, see if you can see the sparkle on there. Isn't that beautiful? I love it, love it. And it's such just a quick touch to put on there that just makes it even better. All right, so now we're gonna put the snowflakes. And I'm doing those in Smoky Slate. So just dab on a few of these. And there you go. Super quick and easy. See, if I wasn't talking, we'd be done. But then what's the fun in that? you got to have some talking going on. Let it dry for a sec. Let me glue this one down. And we're going to use some green glue today. This one's almost empty. And then she told another story, which I'll save for another day. But it was about this little boy who went into a diner to get some food. And he ended up not having enough money, but that one almost made me cry, so I'll wait till the next video to tell you about that one. But I was so excited about that guy with the umbrella. I was like, man. But I figured if he had a hot pink umbrella, he's probably married. I don't know. <laughs> but it just made my day. But I still got soaking wet. And then I got home, had to unload the groceries, and, and I was just totally drenched. All right, this one we're going to wrap around with the ribbon right at the bottom of the snowman. Love those snowflakes. I know, they're pretty, pretty. I love them in the gray, too. A lot of times I do them in blue, but I think I like the gray better. All right, just tie a little knot. Then trim that ribbon down a little bit. Isn't this a quick and easy card? I know a couple of you guys watching came to this class, so you already made this card. All right. And I was bad at the grocery store because the Tillamook ice cream was buy two, get one free, so I had to buy some. And I had told myself I wasn't going to do it, but I was very bad, very, very bad. And then, of course, I had to eat some when I got home, so. Ah, one of those days. It's been a hectic week at work. I just crave sugar when I'm like, I don't know, when I'm having like stress, I just crave sugar. And I know it's bad for me. <laughs> it was probably his daughter's. Oh, maybe so. I don't know. Maybe I should just go hang out at that food line some more and see if he'll show up again. <laughs> I do go there all the time, though. You passed on the snowman set last year? Oh, my gosh. This is one of my favorite ones. All right, so we're just going to put that down like right in the middle. And then you're done. That was super quick and easy. Don't you think? And it's so funny. This card that I did the last video, it's also green. But a lot of people were like, I love the blue in this card. And I was like, it's green. 
<laughs> it's the same exact colors as this card. So we've got Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen in both of them. But a lot of people thought it was blue, but it is green. And so is this one, same colors. So anyway, if you missed this video, go back and watch it because that was a good one. That was a couple days ago. So I hope you liked the snowman. And um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm so glad there's a lot of new people on here too. And uh, I'm still soaking wet. I was going to show myself today and do the beginning of the video with myself on here, but I got, I mean, absolutely sopping wet. So I have like wet hair and um, my shirt was soaking wet and I just look like a wet dog. So I decided against it. But thank you for joining me. If you want anything that I've used today or anything in the Stampin' Up! catalogs, just go to stampingwithlisa.com. There's the host code for the next few days. I would love to have you as a customer. And if you're watching um, the replay, please comment, like, subscribe if you're on YouTube watching it. It is live on Facebook, and then I upload it to YouTube. Um, a lot of people think it's live on YouTube, but it's not. So thank you guys so much. I'm so glad that you were here with me. And I will see you back on Saturday with another video. And I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but I'm sure you'll love it. And those of you that won cards today, make sure you send me your address so you can get them. All right. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.